Hi guys, it's Jez here with Windows Central Gaming, and I just wanted to make a quick video to show you the new OneDrive features with uploading captures on the Xbox console, so stay tuned. Okay guys, you'll have to bear with me a little bit because I do have COVID or some kind of flu-like illness right now. So if I sound a bit nasally and weird, I apologize in advance. But I really wanted to make this video because it's the first cool new feature that Xbox has had in a while. And also, it's something that we've been asking for for a pretty damn long time. By the way, as a quick side note, I just reviewed Starfield on WindowsCentral.com. So take a moment to go and check that out. Maybe share it. I'd really appreciate it. The game is awesome, by the way, and you should definitely check it out. But anyway, let's get into the beef of this one, which is all about OneDrive. So yeah, OneDrive has now come to the Xbox capture system on your console. And you access it by, you know, going to my captures and stuff like that, which has like pretty much the same interface as it always did. But when you get this update, which is currently on the alpha ring for Xbox Insiders, you'll be greeted by this message up here at the top. So I'm going to hit tell me more. Tell me more, guys. We can help you back up your captures. Never lose your captures if you upload to OneDrive Cloud Storage. Here are ways you can save your favorite captures. You can always back up existing captures to an external storage device or upload to OneDrive. For future captures, you can set things to automatically upload to OneDrive or manually upload captures to external storage device. So what is OneDrive exactly? If you are subscribed to OneDrive, you get, I believe off the top of my head, one terabyte of cloud storage to use for anything you want. I've got it set up to my phone to store my uh, camera roll and my video clips and all that kind of stuff. You can also set it to automatically upload screenshots from your PC and all that kind of stuff. And um, I've been using it for years since the days it used to be called SkyDrive and they lost the trademark battle with Sky in the UK and they had to rebrand it to OneDrive. It's a very, very good storage solution and I really do recommend it. Now, one of the issues we've always had with the Xbox is that storage for cloud clips keeps getting full like it gets full constantly all the time and uh, it can be really irritating to manage so now with one terabyte of storage you get way more you know leeway in what you can make clips of and also it kind of reduces the burden of having to manage those on your console you can manage them via like the onedrive app on your phone now or via onedrive on your pc which makes it easier to just highlight a bunch of clips you don't want to keep and then delete them and all that kind of stuff the uh, Clips app on Xbox isn't too bad, but, you know, it's it, it's just kind of nicer to have them stored in OneDrive. And also, you get way more space. So let's give this a go. So if I hit continue now, back up existing captures to preserve screenshots and game clips you've created. Upload them to OneDrive or to an external storage device plug in your console. You skip this if you just want to update to auto. So let's just uh, copy to OneDrive. And uh, as you can see, now I've selected copy to OneDrive, it is checking through all of my captures and he presumably it's going to start uploading all of these maybe okay right so it says here at the top microsoft storage i don't know why it says microsoft storage with a little onedrive logo sure surely it just should just say onedrive i don't know but if i select select all and then copy let's not do all of them because we'll be here all day so uh i've been playing uh, a bit of armored core here and there so we'll we'll upload this cool ass screenshot from armored core to OneDrive real quickly. Upload capture OneDrive. Upload. Upload complete. That was pretty damn quick. And there's a little QR code to download the app there. And uh, and then it also comes up with automatically upload future captures to OneDrive. To preserve screenshots and game clips for your to make from now on. Send your future captures to automatically upload to OneDrive. With the OneDrive mobile app, you will view and share your captures right from your phone. Blah, 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 blah. Auto upload to OneDrive. Yes, please. Let's do that because I have a lot of clips and it's constantly annoying having to manage all that kind of storage. As you can see, my network storage for Xbox is nearly full right now, which is really irritating. But um, I don't know if there's like... Uh, okay, so there's this new automatic uploads. Automatic uploads to the Xbox network captures by me and then automatic uploads to OneDrive captures by me or captures by game. So it looks like you can upload both to the Xbox network and to OneDrive simultaneously. So like the, the play for me would probably be don't upload clips to the Xbox network, which I suppose lets you share it on the community sharing features, which nobody uses, uh, or uh, to share it to the Xbox app, which lets you share it to Twitter and stuff like that. It just feels like extra steps. So um yeah so when you do upload things to onedrive if i'm just gonna quickly look on my pc here while we're making this video 
it dumps them in a folder under pictures and then Xbox screenshots. So yeah, you can find it under pictures, Xbox screenshots on OneDrive, on your PC or on your uh, mobile app and stuff like that. So easy to find and all that kind of stuff. And um, hey, it just works. And that's what we like to see, right? But anyway, that's pretty much it for uh, this feature. It's, it works exactly as you'd expect, I guess. You can still upload stuff directly if you want to and that kind of thing. I don't know how to view my OneDrive storage from here. Like, it seemed there was, in the initial copy thing, it looked like you could view how much storage you had left, but now I can't find where that setting has gone. Um, maybe it'll come in a future update. Like, it'd be cool if you could filter my captures on this network, on this console, and then on OneDrive, and it exposed that file for you. But it doesn't seem like you can do that at the moment, which is a bit weird. But anyway, maybe it'll come down in a future update. But anyway, uh, this is on the Xbox skip ahead ring right now. So go and check it out if you haven't already, and uh, it'll come down to Beta, Delta, and then to the public in the coming weeks and months ahead. I've been Jez from Windows Central. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.